Welcome to WCF Checklist video number 7. In the previous webcast we have seen the basic HTTP binding with message security and this webcast will be dealing with the same thing but using a WS HTTP binding. Alright, so we'll be using a message certificate and we'll be encrypting our messages using a certificate. If you haven't seen the certificate video, you need to go back and you have to see the video of a certificate. Alright, in order to understand this process in a better way. Alright, so let's have a look at the service very quickly. As you can see, I have my I, my service contract and my service. Alright sorry looking at the service you can see I have one operation contract and simply one operation which gets some value and returns some value the implementation is very simple if you look at the implementation part shit sorry <clears throat> so implementation is something like the value which I get I return it as same right are returning a value with a date time that's it so that's a service that's pretty easy and the important part is now the configuration where you configure your service for a certain WS HTTP binding and you provide a security along with that so let's move down to service dot model system dot service model in this section you will see the first thing your ABC your address, your binding is WSHTP binding, your contract is IMI service, which I already shown you, and the binding configuration is WSHTP binding configuration, which configuration I have written over here that I'm using the binding, my binding name is WSHTP binding configuration. I'll be using the message security, and my client message client credential type would be a certificate through which my messages will be encrypted, right? and there is one more thing you need to remember by default the identity is a tag which has a default value called as localhost you need to remove that you don't need to keep it right then one more thing we need to configure at service level you need to tell the service that your service credential will be a certificate which is located in your local machine and at the time of finding the service WCF should find by a subject name the name of the certificate as stem search server which is already available right here in my personal right the personal so I can call it store name as my alright so service is up and running and let's do one more thing so behaviors are clear your endpoints are clear this guy is gone and your configuration is also clear right so let's move on <coughs> let's try to browse a service and as soon as you try to browse a service you can see your service is located at a virtual port blah 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 right so we are good so service is good now I, I have already <coughs> created a client where I have consumed this service okay and for which I have uh, the app.config got generated for me right and if you look at <coughs> the binding you can see very well I'm sorry <coughs> you can see uh, I'm using a WS HTTP binding security mode is message transfer security is Windows and the message mode is a certificate right so that's what you can see <coughs> next thing what you get is when you consume a service you get this thing by default <coughs> I mean your A, B, C and your configuration but the interesting thing is you get the identity get generates a certificate tag with an encoded value for certificate which I didn't wrote myself it got generated automatically if you want we can do it because I think I have time so why not uh, I'll let me rename copy and I'll do one thing I'll remove the app.config file and delete then I'll say update the service reference <coughs> so I get a new got app.config and let's check out again so by default as I said you get the endpoint and you get the identity tag which shows the cert certificate encoded values right so this is a huge value <coughs> I have no idea what is it now 
at the client side let's look at the program.cs what I'm doing is I'm simply creating a client of my service client and I'm trying to say hi from WS I'm sorry WSHD binding with message security using a certificates and now let's run this thing <coughs> now as soon as I run this thing I'm gonna get an error yes and the error says the client certificate is not provided as we have seen my previous series you need to provide your one second <coughs> you need to provide a behavior in which you specify your client configuration which will be doing right now so app.config of a client then you put your service behavior I'm sorry uh, behavior you provide your client certificate you say okay my client certificate is present in the name as this you should find by the subject name it is present in my local machine at this place right so once this setting is done and you specify that this is the behavior behavior configuration you're using control shift build and let's run one more time this time we'll get through <coughs> alright then All right. so that was pretty easy I mean in case of basic HTTP mining we need to manually tell okay the identity is the name of a certificate then you need to provide the service credential as well but in case WS it is pretty simple <coughs> you don't have to take a lot of headache and it works pretty fine but it depends on your requirement what exactly you're looking for <coughs> now let's look at the logs which has been generated at Archer let's refresh interesting refresh and open messages I got a lot of messages let me check them out and I can see yes this is my do work this is my do work okay and let's have a look at the message what happened over the wire and as you can see <coughs> everything looks pretty much encrypted this is the data you transferred shit you transferred across the wire this was the data right and let's have a look at the response which came back from the server again <coughs> everything is encrypted you have no idea what is the value of this guy right so as a proof the logs are working fine you have a message security your messages are very well secured over the wire you don't need to provide any SSL or anything like that all right so I hope this video gives you an idea but interesting point is my on uh, now it is 93 KB all right so uh, anyways you got the idea if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching this video